Hi gang, this is the Two Chicks That Hunt, and we are going to show you the next step in the process. Um, we already finished boiling off this head, that's where we last left off. Now remember, you want to simmer it, to simmer, not a hard boil, for four hours. Before you put the head in, make sure that you cut all the way down the nose, down here, and down here. And that skin is going to peel like an orange peel. Once you get it out, or get the top layer of skin off, you can use instruments like this. You can go down to Walmart. All it is is a simple dental tool. You can use a toothbrush to brush some of the excess off, or a soft wire brush. The hardest part is going to be to get down inside there out but <clears throat> you can also uh, run some water through it so like from a hose uh, get a little high pressure but just be careful with the fragile areas now once you get it down to this you are going to want to soak it in some Dawn uh, water what that's going to do is it's going to take the grease um, from the you know animal fat off of it and then it's going to accept the the bleaching process much better because you don't want that oil on there because then it won't accept that uh, bleach so what you got to do <clears throat> the things that you're going to need for bleaching is you want to run down to Sally uh, Beauty Supply they will have this in stock trust me and you want to pick up the highest strength which is 40 now we're going to use two different ones um, this is the clear uh, liquid volume, or uh, it's a uh, liquid, and this here is a cream, okay? This here is for a little bit later. Uh, that's once it dries. That's the uh, protective coating that we're going to put on it. Now, you can get a flat clear sealer, satin or glossy. It all depends on your preference. We're, we went in the middle where it's not going to be glossy, but it's not just going to look, you know, flattish. Okay, you're going to need some paper towels, you're going to need some gloves for your protection, and you're also going to need a small, you know, throwaway paintbrush. Now remember, when you're going to do this on your wife's table, put something down to protect because this peroxide will bleed something and we really don't want to make her mad. All you're going to need is a plastic bin to put it in. Now this is the first one that we did um, that the, the nose uh, broke off. Um, so this is going to be the first guy because he's nice and dry now. And um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take um, your peroxide. And I'm sorry for the cam work. But we're going to be careful that you do not hit the antlers because that will bleach them as well. What we're going to do is we're just going to put just enough in the bottom here. It is going to cover him up, which is the bowl. There we go. So, now what you want to do from this point is use your brush. We're going to paint him up really good. Now, to get the right brightness that you want, we're going to need to let him sit in this and, and keep re-soaking him every six hours. But there is a little bit of a trick to it. Once I get him nice and coated this way, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you a little trick. So this is the two chicks that hunt, and we'll be right back.